Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be my key fob collection part 4. You guys loved part 2 and part 3 and part 1. So, I figured it's time to make part 4. And this is very overdue by the way. So, I have a bunch of new keys I bought while I was gone. And today, we're going to show them to you. So far, I have been collecting keys for over a year now since November of 2022 and since then I've bought over 60 keys from sites like Mercari, eBay, and OfferUp and some of them I did get from my dad in June 2022 so I have a lot of keys to show you guys I bought a lot since the earlier parts and I cannot thank you guys enough for the support I'm getting on part 2 the views are at almost 300,000. I never would have expected to get that many views on a simple video like this. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. This key right here is for a Nissan Rogue. The listing said it was for an Altima, but if it was, it would have a trunk button. So this is a Nissan Rogue key. Lock, unlock, and your panic. I'm assuming this one's probably from like a base model 2016. It's a flip key, push it up. So a thing for these keys, there was a recall on this particular style of Nissan key where something would happen like the key, I don't know what it is, look it up, but it's a pretty bad recall. So maybe it's like the key wouldn't come out or I don't know, but if you do have a Nissan with that key, you should make sure to get it checked. So this one has a lock, unlock, and panic. All right, next up. This key is for a 2022 Nissan Frontier. You have lock, unlock, and panic. So you have a Nissan badge. Here's the tag I have on it. I bought a set of tags for like 20 bucks. Emergency key just comes out like this. Nissan has been using this egg style key for so long and they should definitely start redesigning them on all their models. But this is still a pretty decent key. This one's in pretty good condition, only minor cosmetic things, but. This one is for 2014 Nissan GTR. Lock, unlock trunk and panic here's the tag i just write random colors on some cars you have this and you take it out just like the frontier key this one is a little older so it doesn't have any lights on it i also have another version of that key but this one is for an infinity q50 2017 Unlock, lock, trunk, and panic. Same thing as a GTR key. This key is pretty much the same as a Nissan key. It's not more premium, which I definitely think Infinity should have gone for a little bit of a nicer design on the Q50 series and Q60. But for the QX60 SUVs from like 2020, which is this key right here, this one's for a 2020 four door QX60. Lock, unlock trunk release and panic this one does have a little bit of a nicer accent but the plastic feels pretty cheap and you have this tab and the emergency key is shaped a little different so it's pretty much the same key all right we're gonna move on to some korean cars now i'll have japanese cars again soon all right this key is for a 2016 Hyundai Sonata Limited Hybrid. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. So this one is definitely starting to die because the buttons are delayed and they sometimes don't even work. So this one isn't a foot key. This one is an emergency key. In person, this thing's almost like a brownish. Like it's kind of interesting. It's not black. Like it looks, it's actually more brown. But this next key is a Tucson. 
and in person you can see the resemblance but on video it's harder to tell so this one's definitely black so this next key is for 2017 hyundai tucson probably an se or something like that this one has your lock unlock trunk release and your panic alarm it's a foot key pretty nice sounding we have a Hyundai badge, a little bit of residue from the sticker, but oh well, it's fine. So, this one is for 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe. This one is a lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. I like the design of this key, it feels rather premium, has brushed material on here gloss black plastic which looks nice you have a little bit of chrome and the hyundai badge your emergency key pretty nice key this key is certainly one of my favorite keys but i'm not very big on that gen of santa fe i do like the key design on the higher trims this just feels pretty nice in the hand all right, this next key, this is a 2023 Hyundai Tucson, and this one isn't just any Hyundai Tucson, it's the Limited, so it has lock, unlock, your trunk release, your panic alarm, you have your smart park, and your remote start. So smart park basically allows you to move the car while it's parked without going in the car, you just lock it, you remote start it, and then you push the button to go forward or backwards. It's a really neat feature, and I think more cars should be doing it. Only Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis really does it, which is kind of surprising, but BMW did it too, like on this key, which will be at the end because it's my coolest key. This key is for 2014 Kia Sportage, lock, unlock, trunk release, and a panic alarm. This one's probably a higher trim, like an EX or something. Emergency key. Here's your tag. I did replace the battery in this, so it works now. This key is for 2019 Kia Forte. Give your lock. Unlock, trunk release, and panic. It's a flip key. Pretty nice flip when you push the button. And overall, I, I do really like Kia's new style keys. They feel better than the old ones. And they're pretty unique because of that lock button, probably, and the side buttons, which a lot of manufacturers are starting to do now, like Kia, Mazda. Right, these next ones are for motorcycles. This one is a 2017 Yamaha R3. Black. It's kind of hard to see the logo. But it's just a motorcycle key. Pretty basic. Here's another Yamaha bike. This one is a 2017 Yamaha R6 key. It says Yamaha on it. Pretty cool key for a motorcycle. Looks a little more interesting than the R Freeze. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to put back up for some reason. All right, we're gonna start with more Japanese cars. This one's for a 2006 Subaru Impreza or 2007. This is the tag that came with the key when I bought it. It's pretty basic. Here's your rear and here's your front. No remote or anything. All right, this next key is the first key I bought ever on Mercari. A 2006 Subaru Legacy. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and your panic on the back. Car brands used to make the panic button rubber, but now they do like plastic mostly, so... Things have definitely changed. Here's the main key. 
This is the first key I ever purchased online. So, it was definitely one of my more exciting moments in my key fob collection because I had just really started getting, starting to collect keys, which is pretty cool. Oh well, come on. I can't get this in stay for some reason, which is kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. Now, this key is for a 2008 Honda Accord EXL Coupe V6. The L part on EX, I think it's cut. This one's black. 08 Accord two door V6. This one doesn't have any batteries. Lock, unlock, trunk, and panic. And I think this screw may be stripped, so I can't take it out. Here's the spare key. Pretty nice. Just plasticky. This one is for 2017 Honda Accord. White LX. I know this one's light because the seller who I bought this from, they did have the tag on it in the listing, but it didn't come with the tag. I hate when sellers do that. This one has a lock, unlock, the trunk release. I'm not sure why this is not working. I never have to push this hard and panic. I don't know if the trunk release button is broken, but that doesn't usually happen, so. Oh well. This key is for a 2019 Honda CRV. EX and above, because the LX has regular key insert, much like that Accord key I just showed. Lock, unlock. You do get remote start. Your trunk release and panic alarm. Oh wait, yeah. Where's the emergency key too? This this little tab. You pull it in, and here's the key. Comes out of it. Pretty hard to get in, but oh well. Not really that hard actually. This one was a key that I got for free with this Volkswagen GTI key. We'll show that one later. But this is some sort of old Toyota. Probably goes a RAV4, Sienna, Camry, Corolla. Who knows what it goes to. It's just a Toyota logo on both sides made out of pure silicone. I got this one. That Volkswagen key was only five bucks, by the way, which is a very good deal. So... Someone else was going to buy it before me, but someone else did buy it before me, but they canceled their order, so I was able to get that book so I can keep. And it's been one of the best values I've ever got for a key. This key is for Toyota 4Runner, 2010 to 2019. Walk, unlock, and panic. It's in pretty good condition. And then the buttons are worn. We have a Toyota logo. Sticker spilled off. I think I got this one for pretty cheap. Next up, these are the worst in my collection. These are just Toyota shells. These aren't keys, the buttons fall out. They're just generic crap. I hate these things. This is what they're fun for. Like, that's it? Well, you can have a little fun with these, but like, come on, man. <laughs> you can gonna actually sword fight like this you better be careful so please don't do what what I just did because you may injure yourself because the blades are kind of sharp at the end so if you're gonna do that please be careful and you shouldn't do it in the first place those are just generic keys I don't like this key is for 2020 Toyota RAV4 XLE. For some reason, I've replaced the battery in this key many times, and this thing will still not light up. You have lock, unlock, and panic. Like, I've replaced it multiple times. It worked when I first got it, like, almost a year ago, but for some reason, it doesn't want to work now. It says Toyota RAV4. Take the key out, you push this, and here's your emergency key typical Toyota fashion. 
Although, it's weird that it's broken, because, I mean, it was 10 bucks, which is very cheap. This one is an emergency key for a Lexus RX, or a spare key, or, I think it's just a key that went to a first gen, but, as opposed to its Toyota key counterpart, which is made out of silicone, this one's made out of hard plastic, and the logo is colored instead of black, and so they actually have details of the logo, which gives it a little bit of a more premium feel compared to its Toyota counterpart. But this is a Lexus badge. This is the cheapest Lexus key I could find. It was nine bucks. For some reason, these Lexus keys are so expensive. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I mean, it's just a Lexus. Like, you can find BMW keys for cheaper. Like, I got this BMW key for 15 bucks, but you can't find any of those Lexus keys for under like 50, which is crazy. All right, next up, these are 2004 Jaguar XK8 keys, XJ8 I mean. One's in good condition, one's in bad condition. But you do have lock, unlock, your lights are panic and trunk release. So this one has the Jaguar logo still intact and this one, it just faded away. All the buttons faded. I'm, I'm sure this was the main, this was the spare. This one does flip a little weird though. It's kind of harder to get a good flip. This one does flip better, which is surprising because this one is the one that's probably used more. So back side's very basic, but this is a pretty nice looking key. I'm selling the one in bad condition, by the way. It's like three bucks. Just, just have it somebody. Nobody's bought it yet, which is crazy. So this key is for a Land Rover LR3. This is lock, unlock, and the Land Rover button. I don't know what that does. Is it a panic trunk release? I don't know. Foot key. This key isn't in the best condition. The buttons are a little, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be stock, but this key has definitely seen better days. A little bit of wear on it. So, and I just noticed that my fan was making a lot of background noise, so I lowered it. And now we're gonna move on to some American cars. This one goes to a Mercury Milan, 2006 to 2011. It's a Mercury, how do you pronounce it again? Mercury, yeah. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. It's a lot like the older Ford key, and Ford did own Mercury back in the day. All right, so we're gonna go to Fords instead of Chevys first, because this Mercury's on top, and I'm trying to make the phone now look look the best, like most aligned. So this key is for Ford F-150, a 2004 to 2008 generation. Use this key. Something interesting is that this is a Ford logo sticker and you peel it off, it actually reveals another Ford, Ford logo, which is pretty interesting. This one is probably the cheapest key I bought at it's the cheapest one I bought on Mercari, which was three bucks. I'll tell you what the actual cheapest one was when it comes up. Right, this is a 2016 Ford Explorer key. Walk, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and panic. One thing I don't like about this key is the build quality. It feels super cheap. I mean, that could just be because it's worn, but... Man, even my Chevy keys like this don't feel this bad. And the emergency key, I think it's kind of weird. You have to push this out. Oh, yeah. You have to push it out, and here's the emergency key. It's just a little thing like this. And this cover just pops back on. So pretty weird location for the emergency key. Not as easily accessible as I think it should be. But thankfully, 
in the next design of Ford key, they changed it and it's now easier to take it out. Just push it and there we go. This one's a 2021 Ford Escape. Ford logo, lock, unlock, your remote start, your trunk release, and your panic alarm. So, they also made this key. It's much better built also. Like, it actually feels like a premium key, which is super duper nice. This next key is a 2021 Ford Bronco. You have lock, unlock, remote start, and pan form. This one also feels like the Escape, except it does not have a trunk release. Same emergency key, pretty much the same key. Just with a different logo. All right, this key is for 2005 Chrysler Town & Country. So the buttons, lock, unlock, your trunk release, power sliding doors, and the uh, panic alarm. Previous seller also wrote old van for some reason. They had this sitting for over two years until I bought it because the listing hadn't been updated since then from Mercari. I actually have three different generations of Chrysler minivan key. This is the second one. Lock, unlock, panic, your trunk, and your doors. This one's a 2013 Chrysler Town & Country Gold. So your, it's a typical Fobic key, which is used by Mercedes and Chrysler. I think Chrysler just borrowed it from Mercedes back from the Daimler era. So the emergency key, pretty simple. This one is for 2020 Chrysler Pacifica, so next generation of minivan, virgin. Lock, unlock, power sliding doors, trunk release, and panic, and remote start. These keys are starting to get cheaper now. Like these used to be like 30 bucks. Now they're like, you can find them for less than 20. So that's good. Emergency key right here, push this button. And here it goes. Pretty unique center design, like in the Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram keys. This one's a Narfaba key. This one's for a 2012 Grand Caravan Dodge. Walk, unlock, panic, and your power sliding doors. Emergency key. This next one is for a 2014 to 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Lock, unlock, panic. This is the second key I ever bought. Emergency key. This one feels pretty solid, not cheaply made or anything like that, which is surprising for an FCA. This one is a 2015 to 2020 Jeep Renegade. This one is very, very nicely built. Lock, unlock, Remote start and panic. It's a lot like the Renegade key, but one difference is this one has the lines and the Cherokee doesn't. Okay, come on. Just real quick. So this key is very nicely built. I do like how it feels a lot. So. Next up, we're gonna to move to Ram, which is also owned by Fiat Chrysler Automotive. This is a 2014 Ram 1500. Lock, unlock, and your panic alarm. This one's probably a base tradesman or something. You have an emergency key too, and another, the built-in emergency key, and you have this bonus spare key. So, it's nice to see. These things do feel cheaper than their push-button counterparts, but that doesn't surprise me. 
if you spend more, you get more. All right, next up, we're gonna do this one. This one is the 2019 to 2022 Ram 1500. Lock, unlock, your remote start, and your panic alarm. Emergency key, just like that. All right, this next one is pretty much the same, but it's a 21 Laramie 1500. Lock, unlock, remote start, and panic. This one is remote start. Not sure if I accidentally said trunk release, which I probably did, or may have. Another thing to note is that the buttons on here are different colors for the emergency key. So this one's a black, which is interesting. And this one is just chrome. So they did that because they ran out of chrome at the factory. And they still used chrome in their keys. Which, well, it could be a possibility during the uh, pandemic and the outage. Because this one's a 21. And that one could be a 19, 20. I don't even know. Maybe it's just trim related. Alright, so we're going to go up one and to Chevy. Because we didn't do those yet. Alright, this key goes to a 2015 Chevy Cruze. Oops. Sedan. Flip key. Chevy logo, lock, unlock, your trunk, and your panic. Pretty solid key. The buttons do get stuck very easily, which is kind of unfortunate. This key is for 2017 Chevy Colorado. Lock, unlock, your remote start, and panic. This one is supposed to have a regular style key, but it just doesn't. No emergency key either. We'll probably have to add one ah, from. So this one is a 2018 Chevy Equinox. Lock, unlock, and panic. This one's probably a pretty basic one for our remote start, maybe an LS or a very base LT. You have your push button and you have the spare key. This one's probably for a very, very, very. What the? There we go. This one's probably not for a premiere. Alright, so this key, as I mentioned earlier, is the key that I got for cheaper than that F-150 key. This is a 2019 Chevy Cruze. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. This one has a worn logo, and I got it for $2.25. Flip key. So, very nice flip. And overall, I can't complain. It was two twenty-five, dollars oh, plus shipping. It makes it like 10 bucks, so it's technically not my cheapest key. I think that F-150 key was 7 including all that stuff, so it depends on how you count. If you count shipping and tax as the most valuable. Okay, next up, this is a very cool key. It's a 2020 to present Chevy Corvette key. Lock, unlock, remote start. Your, your front trunk, your convertible top. Oh, this one's a convertible top. This one's a trunk, and this is the panic alarm. It's a very nice key. This one is probably the most expensive one I bought. Emergency key. I think this one's like 50 bucks, including tax and shipping. But it's well worth it because this is one of my favorite keys in my collection. Overall, it's very nice. It was a very nice car, and I do love my... My Corvette, you gotta love them. They're very, very cool cars. All right, this one is a 2012 GMC Terrain. As I mentioned with that cruise key earlier, this one, the buttons are hard on this key. Lock, unlock, and panic, like they're very hard to push. And also this one is uncut, so the blade isn't cut, so just, you can't just use this with a Terrain. You have to program it of course, and you have to get it cut by a locksmith. So this one is pretty nice. Clip sounds pretty good. This one goes to a uh, 2018 GMC Yukon. Lock, unlock, remote start, your glass, trunk, and panic. This one is kind of sticky on this part, so it's definitely not in the best condition. 
This one isn't sticky, and the uh, rubber is in still in very good condition on this one. This one is a 2019 GMC Sierra 1500, I guess. Lock, unlock, remote start, power trunk, and panic alarm. I'm guessing this is a Denali, but quote, I don't know for sure. I think the Yukon one is for a Denali. Yeah, that one's for a Denali, I think. Okay, this one is a 2018 Buick Regal key. The sticker's a little worn, but it's still on there. You have your lock. That's a Buick logo. Unlock. Remote start. And your panic alarm. And here's the emergency key on this. I don't know if I... Sh Did I show the Corvette emergency key? I'll show, the, show them. If I think I forgot, but... No, I think I did the Corvette one. I do like this side on this Corvette key. Oh yeah, I did show this already. I didn't do the Yukon and Sierra one. Those ones are the same, so I'm just gonna do the Sierra one. Just push a button, and this is the emergency key. Pretty nice. All right, th these ones I got for Christmas. These are vintage Cadillac keys, probably for a DeVille Elder Auto from like the 60s to the 80s. These are gold, so. I'm glad I have these. I love these keys. Man, these keys are just amazing. I think one of these operates the car and one of them does the trunk or the doors. I'm not sure which one is though. This one is for a 2013 Cadillac ATS. Lock, unlock your trunk and your panic alarm. This one is falling out, which kind of sucks. And it does feel cheap. Oh, it's an, an, a 2010's American product. And they don't make them like they used to. This one's metal. And back, back, back like in the two, back in like the 90s, 2000s, they all made them to inferior plastic. It felt so cheap. I don't like it. Like, it's not the same. But key fob design has definitely improved. My god, come on, Cadillac. Alright, so we do have one Swedish car key. This key is for a Volvo. I think this is from a 2015 S60. Vlock, unlock your lights, your trunk release, and your panic alarm. Pretty cool key. I'm trying to align this Cadillac key, which for some reason it won't align like it originally did, which just pisses me off. Triggers my OCD. Oh well. It's fine like this. Okay, since we've done these keys already, we're gonna go to the bottom row. This one's kind of interesting. 2010 Volkswagen Rutan. Routon, how do you pronounce it? So this was a minivan that was based on the Chrysler Town and Country. So Volkswagen wanted to bring back the van and so they called Chrysler to do it and that ended up very well, needless to say. This one has walk, unlock, and panic. So the route canceled horribly, was discontinued. So it's very interesting to see a Volkswagen with this style key. So I'm sure these are rare, but the person I bought this from sells a few of these. So it's pretty nice. Same as the Fabi key it's from Chrysler. Oh. So I'm kind of lucky to have one of these. And so now, fortunately, Volkswagen is using their own engineering to make the ID buzz instead of using Chrysler's crappy 2000s engineering, which was a big mistake. This one is for 2011 Volkswagen Jetta sedan. Classic switchblade Volkswagen key. Lock, unlock, and trunk release. The lights don't work on this, which sucks, but... Oh well. This key is for Volkswagen GTI. I'm guessing this one's for Mark 7. You have lock, unlock, 
trunk release and panic. This one's a very nice flip sound. You gotta love it. All right, this key is for an Audi S5. Lock, unlock your trunk release and panic. Give your Audi logo, a little bit of holes. And emergency key, you just push these two, these buttons. You got to push them both, which is kind of weird. I don't know how you get this one out. It's very, very interesting. It's very hard. Oh, there we go. So, here's it kind of exposed. This Audi part also comes off in, on the back. It does say S. Pretty nice feeling key. The plastic feels high quality. I'm not. I, I like it. All right, here's a Porsche shell key from my 2005. This one said it was for a Carrera or a GT on Amazon. My mom bought it for Christmas for me, 2022. You have the front trunk, the rear. Oh, that button's stuck. And a thing that looks like a Porsche key. I didn't buy this, so. Well, it just has a generic logo. And it doesn't have a motherboard either, so that's why the buttons are getting stuck. Okay, this one is for a Porsche Boxster or Cayman. Lock, unlock, front trunk, and a rear trunk. This one is the basic black design, and there's definitely a pretty big chip right over here on the chrome, and the panic is back here. Pretty hard to push the panic button, unlike the Audi counterparts, which are a lot easier. You have your spare key, push this tab, and here it goes. This part's very small. I apologize about my brother making noise here. I'm sorry about that. He's kind of annoying. This key is for a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan. This is a spare key. Don't want to drop that one. It's just a standard key you get on an Audi. But with a Lamborghini logo, I had another one of these and I sold it for 60 bucks somehow. And it's just a piece of plastic. Like, that's crazy. I mean, 60 bucks for a piece of plastic. Like, come on. This one is for 2014 or 15 Ferrari 458. Just chose a random color for this one. You walk, unlock, and trunk release. The red finish on this is very, very nice. And you have Ferrari Force. I'll give you an in-depth look on it, because why not? Pretty nice. Very, very high quality. This is what I'd expect for a Ferrari. This key is for 2019 Mercedes GLC 300 Coupe. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. This is just a classic Fabic key that pretty much the same thing as you get on like Chrysler's. Emergency key, you pull this tab. And this part comes out. Just a Mercedes key. Part. I think it has a Mercedes logo on it. So, definitely nicer than the Chrysler. The Chrome Accents, too, are much more premium feeling. This one goes to a 2020 Mercedes CLA 250 sedan. Lock, unlock, panic alarm, and trunk release. So, if you get a higher end model, like an E Class, you get like black piano finish on the buttons but lower models like the c-class and the cla do get a plastic fin button finish which is kind of interesting but i mean you do get more when you spend more because well you spend more of your hard hard-earned money on things well yeah all right moving on to bmw this is a 2013 bmw 3 series key you have lock, BMW logo, unlock, and your trunk release. This is before they started putting panic buttons on cars. All right, we're gonna put show the emergency key on the CLA. It's a button right here. And it just comes out as a Mercedes part. Same thing, pretty much as a C-Class, very similar. This one's always a pain to get back in. You have to locate the hole. Oh my God. 
That's painful to get in. I don't like that design, but it's a very nice key. All right, back to the BMW key. As I said, lock BMW logo, unlock trunk release, no panic, later models have it. Spare key. Pretty nice. Uh-oh. I think we're over 30 minutes on this video. All right, this key is for 2018 BMW X5. You have your lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic alarm. This one is much better feeling than the Mercedes keys. Push this and you do get the spare key. Very nice. Much better built than this Aero Mercedes key. I do like the design of it a lot too. Right next up, this one is the most like crazy key in my collection, like the coolest. This one is a BMW 7 Series touchscreen key. Could go to a 5 Series, but I'm going to have a long in-depth look on this. It tells you your security information, the date it's updated, which is an actual vehicle not secured. It tells you, which is pretty cool. Walk too far. That's on lock. Mm, this is lock. Uh-oh. Oh, well. It's not like it's going to be cracked. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. And your back button. Why do I keep dropping everything today? You have real quick information okay off you have service you can tell the service it tells you when it's due right fluid this is really cool vehicle check like wow it's your range information this key did die so all right let's get back you have the range the kilometers you have your set air conditioning I think this made your remote start too. You can schedule a time and activate it, which is pretty cool. And you have your remote control parking. It doesn't let you use it for some reason because it's not close enough to a car. But then you do also have those buttons on the side if you do prefer those. So, this is definitely a very interesting key. Much very nice on the back and to charge it unfortunately you do use micro usb but this is from 2016 so usb c wasn't as popular as it is now so that will conclude my key fob collection part four if you want to see more videos like it please consider like comment and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time bye